Hello and welcome to a game of StarCraft 2 between Slayer as Boxer and Kyrex. Boxer will be playing as the blue Terran player at the 12 o'clock position, and Kyrex will be playing as the red Zerg at the 6 o'clock position. The map is going to be Metaopolis, and Boxer is doing a little bit something different right now. He is putting the Supply Depot at the bottom of the ramp. This makes it a little bit difficult to defend, especially against Bailings, because the Bailings, once they blow up the Supply Depot, everything inside your base is going to be available to the Zerg player, and I haven't seen that many games with this opening but let's hope it works out for Boxer as he is a really good player and Kyrex is also a very aggressive Zerg player and he is also known for his great micro and he is scouting at the 9 o'clock position he has not found his opponent there but it looks like he will be putting his overlord maybe possibly to the center of the map and Boxer is going to be putting down the barracks at the bottom of the ramp finishing that wall off and this is a really cool opening I must say and Kyrex looks like he will be putting down the hatchery at 15 directly outside of space and it looks like both players are gearing up for the very very beginning of the game the Terran player boxer is not going to be taking the gas as he's making his second set of barracks right now maybe he wants to have some really early marine pressure that's the only thing I can think of with these two barracks and he's gonna have to let that supply depot down if he wants to get the SCV back but it looks like he will be scouting if I were him I would not be scouting the 9 o'clock position because the Zerg player has not yet scouted me because around 250 or 230 to 250 that is usually approximately when your opponent will scout you if they're looking for you at the closest spawning location and it looks like the Zerg player will be spotted by the Terry player over here and he will move out the marine and he will try to kill off this drone the drone will see that there is a supply depot as well as one barracks directly outside and the barracks is being lifted and moved outside of the base where ooh, there is going to be one extractor this is funny. And there's going to be one SCV coming into the natural expansion of Kyrex as he might be considering canceling that extractor. And it looks like the SCV will be building a bunker there. And we do see the one extractor inside the base. Another extractor is constantly being canceled and rebuilt at the 12 o'clock positions expansion. This SCV will stop building on the bunker and will run inside. This is very, very funny so far how this is turning out. And a couple of Zerglings chasing around the SCV. The extractor has finally gone down, and this SCV will also go down. So both players does know what the other player is doing. And will this bunker go down or will this bunker be cancelled? He is going to be 50, 40, 20, 10, 8, 3. I'm not sure if that died or not because it went down to as low as 3 HP. I'm not sure if the Zerglings got the last hit or if Boxer cancelled it. And it looks like these Zerglings will be running across the map. And Boxer has one Marine at the top. More Marines at the bottom. This will be a little surprise for Kyrex as Kyrex is going to back off here and no he has not decided to back off. Boxer might choose to engage once again because Marines are relatively good against those Zerglings. And if we take a look inside the natural expansion of Kyrex, it looks like Boxer might want to push again. Metabolic boost is being researched for the Zerglings and the army count shows 33 to 31. Very very close between these two players. A slight advantage for the Zerg player as he does have more drones I believe. He does have 25 drones versus 21 SCVs and there is one overlord inside the base of Boxer seeing exactly what he's building at the moment which will be the factory as well as the command center and these marines are going to try to kill off this overlord and a lot more marines are going to be running up the ramp to defend from the inside and one tech lab is going down at the moment and the marines do take down the overlord rather quickly the upgrades for the units are 0, zero versus zero, 0 at the moment as neither player has gotten any upgrades and a bailing stance is going to be going down inside the base of Kyrex and looks like we will be seeing the two factory, one command center and two barracks build. This is a really strange build as he's go also going to be putting down a bunker on the outside. We will be seeing bailings very very shortly as there's a lot of zerglings out in play. We do see the Inferno Pre-Igniter, a very very good upgrade for the Hellions as that will allow him to kill off a lot of light units very very quickly. And we see some swapping of units and these Zerglings are coming in here to check out what's going on inside the base and this SCV will go down. The bunker will not finish. He will need to pull off another SCV. That is a couple of precious seconds that he may or may not have as 18 Zerglings are being spawned at the moment and they will be running across the map momentarily and these Zerglings are dying to get inside the base and they're all morphing into bailings at the moment as more Zerglings are coming across to reinforce and I think at this moment Boxer does not have a good wall off right now because once this goes down it's basically 
a deer hunting season inside Boxer's base and the Bailings are in, the Zerglings are here and it looks like we will see a conflict of sorts, 60 versus 45, Boxer is a little bit short as he has invested 400 minerals on that command center that he is going to live here, ooh he loses the bunker and this other bunker is going to get either cancelled or finished. Ooh, I think it did get cancelled in time. That, I mean, salvaged in time that time. The lowest HP is only around 16 or so. The army size right now at 63 and 48. The Inferno Pre-Igniter along with, it looks like, 4 plus 1, 5 Hellions. And this is all he has to defend. These bailings are coming in right now. High and heavy and they will blow up the... Supply people right away. They're inside the base. They do kill some Marines, but that is not great usage of those bailings. And these Hellions are trying to de delay what is the inevitable. And these SCVs are trying to run away. And these bailings are going to go off at any moment. And wow, that was only not a bad loss for Boxer. He only lost three SCVs that time, I think. Most of the SCVs have survived. But if more bailings are going to be coming, he might be in trouble. And these Hellions will chase out here and try to kill off these Zerglings as they do. And I think. Right now, the Zerg player might be in a little bit of trouble as he does not have any roaches. Roaches are really, really good against Hellion, which is exactly what he is getting. And spine crawlers are being placed in the front to deter these Hellions from coming. And there's going to be two Overlords possibly going into the base, or maybe they are just a misset rally point from the main, as he was probably supporting his own units with those additional Zerglings to reinforce. And some Zerglings do come across the map, and they will be burned down by these Hellions. And Hellions are hunting Zerglings right now, and it looks like they are spawning a lot of Overlords. And additional Overlords are flying to the middle of the map. And it looks like Hyrex will be taking the 3 o'clock position expansion as well, and he also has view of these eight Hellions at the outside of the base. And there's going to be two barracks and two factories and one starport. The starport is going to be making a medevac, but it is supply block at the moment as he is at 54. The army size for the Zerg player is a little bit bigger at 69. And this one medevac is going to be coming. It might be a little bit too late as his opponent already has a lot of roaches. The unit counting station shows that he does have 13 roaches and these roaches are going to possibly engage these Hellions. Hellions don't really want to fight against the roaches. They are turning around and some of these Marines and Hellions are right here trying to kill off some of these overlords and we see one set of roaches coming, one other set of roaches coming over here. The medevac does pick up some of those Hellions and these Marines will go down. The medevac is going to try to drop off inside the base of... Kyrex and he is inside in the meantime the roaches are going to be going to the natural expansion as these drones are dying right now the front of boxer space is getting harassed severely and he might not be able to hold here that is a lot of roaches and zerglings coming in to kill off this bunker the SCVs are desperately trying to repair it but it is absolutely on fire it's really really close to death it's really on fire there's a lot of flames well there's one flame but really one big flame and the SCVs are not able to help repair the bunker and now he is in a bit of a doo-doo as it is at 48 to 38 and the roaches and zerglings are inside the base of Boxer and Boxer's SCV are going to try to fight off these zerglings but that may not be the best idea as he does have a lot of roaches to reinforce and Boxer right now does not have any attacking units. He only has one Marauder at the moment and one Hellion on the field. And there is one medevac somewhere. Two Marauders now. And he is still trying. He will not give up. He is going to fight till the end to the very last SCV or bunker. And it looks like he's going to be taking down this Starport. Starport is the only thing that might save him as there was one Banshee inside being produced. And I don't think there's going to be too much that he can do. He does drop a lot of those mules down that will help his income a little bit as he has lost I think all of his SCVs or all but eight and there's just roaches and zerglings everywhere very very well played by Kyrex as more units are going to be showing up to help and looks like Boxer is trying to micro a little bit and try to save some face possibly with this one Marauder that does have two kills and Boxer is trying really hard but the roaches are going to get it surrounded and they will be able to take down the tech lab and the barracks if they so choose oh but he does pick up the two Marauders once again and he is gonna keep going at this Boxer is gonna keep trying to stay alive and try to kill off as much as he can and the roaches do see the Marauders and one tank does come out but it's getting surrounded by those Zerglings and I think as soon as this tank goes down oh ouch that's gotta hurt and if we take a look at the unit counting station right now it's 52 versus 17 it's a Boxer is in horrible shape and he is still trying that will not deter him from trying as he's going to be making some SCVs to fight it looks like SCVs will counter roaches and zerglings any day 
if you're a boxer that is, and these two refineries not being used at the moment as boxer will probably GG relatively soon as he's pretty much losing everything, and he does GG finally, hope you guys enjoy that game, game number two will be coming very shortly, and I'll see you guys at the next game, thanks. Thank you.